So I was fortunate enough earlier in the spring to interview uh, Julian Barnett and Thibaut Reinhardt of the oh, yeah. Minis. Uh, and of course, Minis are a little different, but you know they often reference being a little crazy, uh, especially for um, offshore shorthanded. Uh, would you echo that? In the, and I don't know if crazy is a, a good word, bad word, but would you echo that a little in the 60 realm? And especially in just psychologically preparing for something like a Vendee or a Barcelona World Race where you have to accept that aside from your partner on the boat, you're alone and you know, you're always preoccupying yourself. Yeah, you know, I think that, um, I'm not sure, I think certainly there are some crazy people who are doing it, but I think that the words that I would use to describe a winning skipper in, a, in the emotion class would be probably methodical and thorough and driven and mentally strong, you know, much more important than a, than a sort of craziness because, you know, winning in the emotion class is about the, the preparation beforehand and, and you know, having a program which is well organized, where you're spending the money properly, and all the rest of it, it's uh, it's a lot more than going out and going sailing. And I think for me, it's uh, that's where a lot of the satisfaction comes, is being able to to put together a good program and then see it through to a successful end. And uh, it's a you know, you find a. In the skippers that are in Emoka, you find people who would also be very, very good at the heads of large companies. You know, people who are very good at getting the best out of the people around them, and who are uh, who are looking at the big picture all the time. And that goes for the sailing as well. That's a good comparison. Thank you. So when you are racing, and you face frustration, perhaps fatigue, on these long races, uh, how do you personally find a little peace and maybe collect yourself uh, from time to time when need be? Uh, sleeping mostly. <laughs> Honestly, for me, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a big music guy or anything like that. So uh, for me, if, uh, if things are frustrating me, I go to have a little nap and I go to sleep very, very quickly and easily. So that's key. Yeah, Simple. it is key. It makes it, it makes it good. Um, you know, if I if I sleep for 15 or 20 minutes, I wake up feeling a lot differently than I did when I went to sleep. For that's for sure. So that's how I do it. That and sometimes a bit of hard work will help. As well, you know, <laughs> yeah. Out and grinding. Exactly getting that anger out. Um, specific types of racing aside, whether it's in a 60 or on Cheeky, uh, do you have any pre-race rituals or habits? you wear the same underwear for this th three weeks or something crazy? No, I am. Um, not really. I am. Um, I always wear wool socks. I think that that's, uh, that's the closest thing that I have to a ritual just because they, uh, they're they warm in the winter time and cool in the summertime and uh, they dry out very quickly. Yeah. But yeah, that's my only, my only real ritual. Cool. And, uh, I don't have any favorite foods or anything like that. Low maintenance. Yeah. Uh, so you've spoken quite a bit, um, you know, before to playing a bigger role in sailing, uh, especially in the USA. Uh, you know, helping expose it to people and people to it. Uh, how do you best feel you're doing this? Um, and what you would recommend to other budding ambassadors of the sport. I think that's an area people struggle. People love to sail and they love to talk to sailors, but they sometimes struggle uh, marketing the sport. Yeah, I kind of see it in two ways. You know, there's, there's two different aspects of the situation. One is um, uh, perhaps becoming an, uh, an inspiration or a role model to people who want to get involved in doing what I'm doing. That's one thing, and I think that, like I've said, you know, just being a, a hard worker and being motivated and willing to take the opportunities when they come to you and making the opportunities otherwise. And then, uh, on the other hand, uh, I see, I see sort of um, a bigger, a bigger picture here. You know, when when I first started sailing, I read a lot of books. You know, I read books all the time. I read a lot of books about sailing, and um, one thing that. Um, I see now from that from that period of time is that it was a big inspiration to me to to read the stories and to be able to dream about what other people had done and put myself in those situations that I was reading about or you know experiencing them through someone else's uh, story. You know, and I think that the, what I do now can be like that for a lot of different people, and I see that I feel like. Um, if I can give a bit of inspiration to somebody who's, uh, who's sitting in their office and you know dreaming about getting out on the weekend, going out on their on their small boat, or or you know inspiring somebody to to do what they love for the sake of doing what they love, you know, and, and knowing that if if you really put your heart into it, you're going to be able to make a living at it. I think that that's a that's sort of a higher calling. 
that I that I that I have. You know, and I think that's a good way to do things. Um, so just one more question it was kind of thrown out there by someone. Uh, if you could sail around the world with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Man, that's a very difficult question. Well, if we're talking about cruising, I'd love to have a sail around the world with my wife. <laughs> that would be great, for sure. And otherwise, if I was racing, who would I want to sail around the world with if I was racing? Man, it's hard to say because there's been so many incredible sailors who are... Uh, we're all uh, we've all passed away, you know. I think uh, Roland Jordan, who I used to work for, um, you know, he's still doing a lot of sailing, a lot of racing, and uh, is in the process of uh, getting together his sponsorship for his next Mocha project. It would be great to sail around the world with him for sure. I spent a lot of time sailing with him, but we haven't done any sort of very long distance sailing like that. It'd be good. We get along very well, and we're very complimentary personalities. So that would be a good fit for sure. Great, great. Well, thank you for taking the time sit down with us right before the beginning of the Chicago Mac. Uh, you know, best of luck to Cheeky. Hope you guys take advantage of these southerlies and oh, we're gonna and as just best we can That's fly up there. Yeah, absolutely. Are we giving a little breeze? It will fly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you.